Oh. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to install Ubuntu on VM Workstation. So let's get started. I tried searching for Ubuntu um, on my hard disk. I can't find it. So we'll have to download it. A fresh copy. Oh, that looks cool. Ubuntu desktop. Uh, 20 okay so the last one if you remember I think it was um, end of summer last year we had 18 so that's good well we get to get the uh, nearest one mm, 64 yes so that's 2.5 G while it's downloading I did see something in the back page uh, it's need a 2 gigahertz uh, dual core processor oh so Ubuntu is actually asking more than uh, Windows now. Windows uh, 10, it requires one gigahertz processor, uh, one or two GB RAM, uh, it's asking four GB RAM, uh, but Microsoft always go with bare minimum and the actual requirements or uh, for smooth uh, Windows uh, working is always much more than that. So that will be around this. But uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, this Ubuntu, it can easily be run on one gigahertz processor and one GB RAM. Easy, no issues. 25 GB of free hard drive space again. Uh, Microsoft needs 16 GB for 32 bit and six is, uh, uh, 64. So I believe for uh, six, 64 bit, it's uh, 32 GB. Uh, actually, we should uh, check while we're waiting for the download. 64 bit. Windows 10 hard drive. Yep, hardware or hard drive requirements. Let's go with that. Mm. 20 GB. I was wrong. So 20 GB for 64 bit OS. That's a good thing we check. So, uh, still a minute left. I'm excited about Ubuntu. Um, let's see what has changed. The last time when I had it installed, uh, um, maybe the August or September last year, what happened was that uh, uh, it was not playing any Vimeo uh, videos. So it wasn't a very pleasant experience. And it was a known issue. There was, uh, I tried to fix it, but it was a lot of uh, digging around and doing this and that. It was not. Uh, plug and play so I was like let's switch back to Windows 7 or 10 so let's see still speed on left Internet access is helpful. Okay, let's uh, go to the uh, other page. What it was? Windows Server and Cloud, Ubuntu for IoT. It's good. It's been saved. And why is it asking me again? No, it's cancel. It's asking me again because I forwarded page again. So it was going to install again. So my Ubuntu is uh, downloaded. Let me see where it is. So I have moved my Ubuntu uh, to my desktop. Let's go fire up the VMware. Uh, you see it's some VMware workstation. We're gonna go and create a new virtual machine. Uh, we'll click new virtual machine. Uh, if you remember from the previous video of Windows 10, we created a virtual machine without the installation media. I did find my Windows 10, uh, uh, the, uh, the ISO on my hard drive, but uh, I want to try this Ubuntu because I'm taking a course on Linux. And I wanted to try that uh, terminal and uh, I was like uh, why not installer this and it's saying s no that's not it that's for the disk image we'll go here get to the uh, where's the desktop desktop and went to let's go there full name personal Linux I'm gonna make, give it my name 
username is going to be Emron. The password is going to be um, let's go with the um, yeah, why not? I have a certain password that I always keep uh, for all of my uh, virtual machines uh, so you know I don't have to think much I know that uh, the user password is going to be this and admin password is going to be this that's how they are set up and the uh, right there so it's maximum this size we're gonna give it 50.0 Let's do that. Uh, store which was single file as multiple file. No, let's do it with a single file. And customize hardware. Let's do the customization for the hardware. We're gonna give it what it uh, required. It says processor has to be number of processors. Let's give it two. And uh, I'm not sure what to do with that. Uh, for this 4096 let's do that uh, right here 4096 right there processor editor's translation controller everything is is good yeah that is good enough let's finish it and run it happening here I had to deal with this earlier as well uh, I had to actually go dig in the um, registry and all that I don't know why it's uh, just lock up on me like that power on this virtual machine this would be another fun purpose cause impact resolution Hyper-V, I never turned on the Hyper-V. Okay, let's go. We probably have to restart this. Because MSINFO32. Let's go here. What was the hyper -V? And the system summary on the right. Okay. Scroll down to virtualization, virtualization based security. Virtualization based security, and it's running. Turn off hyper -V, That's why. So, uh, set to not enable. Let's go to services, services, and hopefully, we can, and there, there, there. Oh, I go to terminus here. give it a try by restarting it but let's see everything is related to VM so next stop is Windows feature on or off Windows feature on and off and Hyper-V should be ticked off that's why I have no idea how it got enabled. That's bad. Oh, I did uh, double click on a ISO to check it. Maybe that uh, what turned it on. Hmm. 
I hope I don't have to go through all that that I oh no I don't want to restart I'm gonna lose all of my let's see all right so I'm gonna uh, stop this uh, video here so I can restart my computer see you in the next one